been almost two years since Portia Williams announced that she was leaving The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And nothing about the show has been the same ever since. Thank you. <laughs> Stupid show. Well, actually, it's not been two years. It's been about a year and a half. So what's that? 265 days plus half of 265 makes about... Wait, you know, I'm not good at math. What, what's that? Like 120? Okay, so 265 days plus half a year, which is 120 days. Dang, that's a lot. Oh, you sound like you slow. <laughs> it's Justin Diego back with another binge ready and today, let's think about how it's starting to feel like Portia Williams is being set up right now. After Bravo just released the first few episodes of Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Season 3, and it's already given the Portia show. Okay, Bravo. They really do want me back. They're trying to woo me. Girl, for the last time, this is Peacock. Huh? <laughs> Okay, I can't even lie. I haven't ever really jumped on the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip wave because I don't know. Something about it just seems a little bit too different for me. But I don't wanna go there. Okay. But for Portia Williams, I'm gonna have to go ahead on and try. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Because I feel like this is the closest thing that we're gonna get to having Portia back on our TV screens for a while because we already know Portia jumped ship as soon as she married that man. And now she got all this money and they live in this nice house and she always traveling. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But he made her quit all her jobs. You just made that up. Somebody give me some more vodka, please. So I'm actually surprised that she even came back to film this little girl's trip, but thank God, because Portia and Giselle have been carrying. I wanna know the tea. <laughs> you do realize it's the first lunch, right? I understand. The first I lunch. Did. What is these people's last name? Heather Graham? Yes, and no, Whitney that's... Houston. Come on. <laughs> yes, Portia Williams is holding it down for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, while Giselle Bryant and Candace Dillard are giving official Housewives energy and getting it popping while representing Bravo's only other all-black cast out of Potomac. They've also got Heather Gay, Leah McSweeney, Alexia, Napola, Marisol Patton, and Whitney Rose from other cities like Miami, Salt Lake City, and New York. Please stop, just stop, stop. <laughs> What you looking at me like that for? Oh, that's a fun little cast and all, but let's be real. This is the Portia Williams show. This is so good. I just this all the way from Atlanta, honey. And in a bit, I'm going to tell you why. But first, we got to talk about the setup of it all. With the girls trip being the first time Bravo has gotten Portia Williams to talk to other housewives about Loki taking that girl's husband after meeting him while filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you already know that they were gonna take that opportunity to get the tea. And if you know anything about Candace Dillard, you already know as soon as she got the call and found out Portia was gonna be there, she devised a plan to be the one. His ex-wife, you met her on camera and y'all became friends. Hi, ladies, how are you? This is my Hi. husband, Simon, everyone. And two minutes later, you and her husband was dating. The streets said you stole somebody's man. And y'all, I was kind of shook because I didn't think that we would ever get the tea. And I said, before I see you, I need you to email me your divorce papers. You yes, were being very thorough. I had to be. I'm a public figure. Absolutely. And I don't want to represent that. Yep. And I actually was pretty surprised at how Portia, with all things considered, was being pretty, like, she was a good sport about all of this because I feel like old Portia, not Portia Gubadia, but Portia Williams, would have been ready to beat a up. But... 
like she said, when you're telling the truth and you're standing 10 toes down and telling the truth, that's gonna always trump any petty little rumor. I Portia, girl, I like you. I want us to be good, I want us to be friends. But this is quite the contradiction from what the saints in the street have been saying. And I thought it was funny and like, really something they can only do on Peacock. But I thought it was cute when the other housewives were basically like, child, if I was Portia, I probably would do the same thing. And some of them were even like, child, I've done it before. It's <laughs> all about taking a man. I'm not proud of it, but I've taken a man too. I mean, me looking at Portia's ring, that's a good ring. I'd steal that man too. <laughs> But yeah, Bravo definitely ain't slick labeling this as a peacock show when they know they feeding us exactly what the fans have been missing out on. Y'all, Bravo is really sitting here in our face, setting Portia up. But it's okay because I think that this is all a part of the plan. It's all a part of the setup of it all because if y'all remember, when Portia initially announced that she was jumping ship and leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Andy Cohen was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. This is a pause, y'all. Letting us know that he was gonna be doing whatever it took behind the scenes to try to get Portia back when the smoke cleared. And I feel like, y'all, like, I mean, the smoke cleared. Definitely enough time has passed now that Portia is fully married to Simon Gubadia. She's actually going by Portia Gubadia because she's fully committed and it ain't really no reason for her to keep us fiending for her on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And finally, after all this time, I feel like she's making her plan to return to the show. Portia and Giselle both appeared on Watch What Happens Live on Sunday to promote their show. Portia, number one question for you. Would you ever come back to Housewives of Atlanta? I knew that would be the number one question. Um, I said before, it's a pause. You said a pause, yeah. pause, you said a pause. That might be possible. Good. I say never say never. Yes. Giselle. Uh, and this is really when I was like, the setup is in full motion. Y'all, I keep saying it. Bravo is definitely setting Portia Williams up for her Real Housewives of Atlanta return. And I feel like the only reason why they won't just come out and say it at this point is because they haven't even put out Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 and they're clearly more focused on Portia's comeback for Real Housewives of Atlanta season 16. I mean, all right. Y'all, Bravo ain't slick. They said, we done fumbled enough. Let's go ahead and bring Portia back. <laughs> Comment right now and tell me what you think about all this. Do you think that Bravo is positioning Portia Williams for an epic Real Housewives of Atlanta return? Or do you think that fans are just reaching? Also, definitely let me know what you guys think about the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip season three so far. I love it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I forgot my own outro. Oh. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I will see y'all come back queens and Porsche fans on the next one.